Percy and the Great Van. One day, Percy was standing at the junction. He had a long goods train which he was taking to Tidmouth, but he had to wait for Henry to pass with a passenger train before he could go on. Henry was late, but the sun was warm and Percy didn't mind. At last, Henry arrived. I'm sorry I'm late, he panted. I had to wait for ages for the connection of the other railway. Do you know, he went on, that they have goods trains on the other railway that don't have brake bands? It doesn't seem right, does it? I'm glad to see you still got yours. The signal dropped and Henry thought he'd better go. Must make up for lost time. Goodbye. Percy was intrigued. A goods train with no brake band, he thought to himself. Later, Percy told his driver what Henry had said. His driver laughed and explained, goods trains on the other railway have special brakes. Like passenger trains and Henry's flying kipper, they don't need brake bands. Your trucks just have couplings, so they need brakes at each end of the train in case a coupling snaps. You know what stupid things trucks are? They did it to James on Gordon's Hill, remember? Pa! Off Percy. He thought he knew better than James. I know how to keep my trucks in order. What's good enough for the other railway is good enough for me. I don't need a stupid old brake van. Don't be so silly, Percy, his driver scolded. But Percy took no notice. It would have been better if he had. A few days later, Percy was shunting tracks at Wellsworth. He was just completing his train by backing onto the brake van when the shunter's attention was distracted. The shunter thought that he had coupled the brake van to the train, but he hadn't. The guard blew his whistle and Percy set off quickly, hoping to get a good run at the hill leading to the main line. But the guard and his van were left behind. The guard waved and shouted, Stop, Percy! Stop! But Percy didn't hear. He was too busy climbing the hill. All might have been well if Percy hadn't started so quickly. Unfortunately, the jerk had weakened one of the couplings. As Percy snorted up the hill, the weight of the loaded trucks dragging behind the weak coupling broke it. The last four trucks began to run back down the hill toward the station. The guard was standing on the veranda of his brake van. He looked on in horror as the trucks hurtled towards him. He ran quickly to his brake handle and checked that it was fully on. Then he jumped clear, just in time. The trucks battered into the brake van with a resounding thump. The van shuddered and screeched as it was pushed along the line, but it stood firm and stayed on the rails. The truck's mad rush was halted. Percy's firemen soon noticed they'd lost the tail end of the train. Percy backed slowly down the hill to see what had happened. When they arrived at the station, they found the trucks and the bike ran were safe and sound, completely intact. Phew! remarked Percy's driver as they helped to clear up the mess. You see, Percy, brake vans do have their uses after all. And Percy had to admit his driver was right. Percy is more careful around brake vans, but soon he would have an accident with one. But that's another story.